the field. He said, he said we were created to worship. worship. We were created to worship him. Yeah. And all we have to do is put our trust yeah. in him. Put our trust in Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Look beyond a man's head. Look beyond the virus head. Yes. Hallelujah. Look beyond every situation you're facing. Hallelujah. And put your trust in Jesus. Hallelujah. They say this song, if you put your trust in Jesus, everything will be all right. Hallelujah. He will make your pathway easy. Hallelujah. And your burdens will be light. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I decided a long time ago to put my trust in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word says, put not your trust in man. Don't lean on the arms of man, but you lean on Jesus. He wants you to lean on him. He wants you to trust him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And my subject tonight is trust God's plan. Trust God's plan. Trust God's plan. His plan is like no other. His plan is like no other. His plan is one of those plans where when you trust him, he's, he's going to lead you against the grain. He's not going to flow up the stream like all the other fishes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he's going to lead you against the grain. Hallelujah. But just trust him. Just trust him. Just trust his plan. Hallelujah. Just trust his plan. He won't lead you wrong. Hallelujah. He said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. That's what he said. Don't you think if he won't leave you or forsake you that he won't lead you wrong? Hallelujah. The only wise God. Hallelujah. Only God that is able to keep you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To the only wise God. We don't know it all. We don't know it all compared to God. We don't know nothing. Hallelujah. We're like the song say, like a ship without a sail. Like a ship without a sail. Hallelujah. You are nothing without it. Without God, I can do nothing. This wrong word the last Sunday. We need Jesus. We need Jesus. This one's every hour, every day, as I walk this narrow way. Hallelujah. We need Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And God has a plan for us all. He has a plan for us all. But the thing is to trust his plan. Trust his plan. And I'm not going to tell you every day, every time is going to be easy, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It is worth it to trust his plan. When you stand, you have to stand there alone. Trust his plan. When people looking at you crazy, trust his plan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It will never fail. It will never fail. It didn't it didn't fail. Shadrach, Meshach, and the to go. And God gave them, and, and I'm telling you, one one that stuck in my mind that it did not fail, and God gave his plan about the world. Come on. He gave this plan that he had about the world, and that was Noah. Yeah. That was Noah. He told Noah for 120 years, yes, yes, the man preached his going to rain. And how about the whole world looking at him like he crazy? For 120 years, generation after generation after generation, yes. saying, it's going to rain. Yes. But you see, one thing about it, when you trust in God's plan, you don't know all the circumstances you know that's going to come along with it. No. You don't know it all. God don't reveal. You know, he revealed everything to us. We wouldn't be able to contain it. I don't think we'll be able to even maintain, contain, I mean, just to know everything that God knows. He knows it. But he'll reveal enough to his people. He said that he won't leave us without any warning. That's right. He will not leave us without warning. Hallelujah. That's in his word. But he told Noah. I said, God, you, you told one man, one man the plan about the whole world. The whole world. Not just one person, the whole world. Hallelujah. And you think this virus is oh, it's just coming out of Noah? God knows the plan you know for his plan. people. You said I know the plan. He trusted Noah with his plan and he spared him and his family. Yeah. Don't you think if he can God's plan, or God would entrust you with this plan. He will spare you, He will provide for you, He will keep you. Hey, hey, hey. My God, one man, one man had that on his shoulders to preach that. That's right. 120 years. Trying to save everybody that he could. Hallelujah. And that's what we're trying to do now. We're trying to send that word, get put that gospel out. 
if it's just for one somebody to know that God knows the plan that he has for your life. He knows the plan. Hallelujah. He knows the plan. He said he knew you before you even were. Yeah. Hallelujah. Before you were even in your mother's That's womb, right. he knew you. That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. So you know when you get, and I look at it this way, when we receive salvation, when we accept the Lord in our lives, and we receive baptism, it's like we just get reacquainted with yeah. the Father. He knew us before we were born, before he even established his world. So when we accept him back, when we say, God, I surrender, God, I receive you in my life, Good. you just get reacquainted. You just, and just, and once you get reacquainted back with the Father, then it's just get to know him, just falling in love with Jesus. That's that song, falling in love with him. It gets sweeter and sweeter and sweeter as the day goes by, sweeter every day, just to know him. And then when you think about it, if he can, if God can keep you, he can make you, he can create you. Don't you know he has a plan better than the ever plan that you ever could have for your life? Hallelujah. Put your hands in the hands of the man that's still the waters. Put your hands in the hands of the man. Hallelujah! 
realize when you, before Jesus even paid for your sins, he paid for your sickness. Yes, he did. He paid almost with his life. They said if it was one more strike, they said most men couldn't take that 40 no, strike. It would have killed them. But Jesus took 39 strikes. One more strike would have took him out. But God, God said, no, that was not God's plan. Uh-huh. But he said, with those stripes, he was wounded for our transmission. Bruce. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. He did all of that just for your healing. Come on now. Hallelujah. He took all of it. So you know that when he took that for your healing, that's what he gave to you. He said he give us benefits daily. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He blesses us with benefits yes. daily. Hallelujah. Yes. And that benefit is not sickness. I didn't read where it was sickness no, anyway. No, that Hallelujah. That ain't no benefit. No, That's no. not one of the benefits. Right. Hallelujah. But the benefits that he gave us, you when I say you better they confess them, you better believe it, you better stand on it. Hallelujah. So when that sickness comes, don't don't accept it. I don't care what it feels like. I get I feel pain in my body, but I don't accept it. Hallelujah. I accept what the word says. Yeah. I accept what the word says, and I expect the word to work for me. Yes. Hallelujah. Back in March, me and my daughter, me and my daughter ended up getting COVID and pneumonia. My barely breathing, mm. barely walking, my barely God. talking, barely everything. On on inhalers and everything. My Took her to the doctor. To the ER twice because she was seven months pregnant. Mm -hmm. My man was on. I, she can't take nothing but Tylenol, nothing stronger, and she needed strong something stronger. Yeah, so my man was on. Lord, I, I need a miracle. We need a miracle. We need a miracle. We need a miracle. And God blessed her when she got. She could get up out of her bed. She got up without the inhaler and everything. And then here I was still struggling, infection in my lungs. But I woke up one morning and I said, you know what, God? This is not what, this is not the promise that you gave me. Come on. Yeah. This is not the plan that you have for my life. Hallelujah. See, you got to confess it. You got to stand on, you got to speak to your mountain. You got to speak to, you have got to speak to, you, you don't accept everything that the enemy bring you. Hallelujah. That's not, that was not God's plan for my life. That was not God's plan for our life. Woke up that morning, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna walk sick. I'm not gonna talk sick. I'm not gonna, I mean, everything that I did, I said, I'm, I'm everything that I felt, I said, uh-uh. I said, this is not God's plan. I, I, I wasn't going by what I was feeling like. Right. But I trusted God. And so I said, you know what? So I got up out the bed, I went to move, and I went to walking, I went to talk, and I could barely, if you know, if everybody that talked to me, even my doctor called, he was like, oh, you tell me. You sounded pretty bad yes, this world. You were sounding, because I was. And, but now I said, you know, because I've had you morning before. I said, but my lungs are even stronger than they were before I got you. Before I got the COVID, before I got the morning. I can hit notes now that I couldn't hit. I, my voice is stronger than everything. I said, because I trust in God. I trust in God. You know, the doctors are there, and they are your resources, but you better remember your source. Remember your source, and that's Jesus. That is Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 And he said that we can cause those things to be not as though they were. We can cause. We can speak to it. Indignation rose up as uh 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 devil I take this and everything else back to the pit of hell where it belongs hallelujah glory to God yeah. hallelujah yeah. we are here today yeah. hallelujah and many are gone because I said but God I thank you thank hallelujah you. I'm a worshiper but people don't know the glory the story behind the glory hallelujah hallelujah God is worthy hallelujah but you got to trust him Trust is playing. God knows that we're going, we're, we're going through some things right now. He knows it. Yeah. Don't think he don't. He knows. Hallelujah. But we just read, he said he knows the thoughts. He knows the thoughts. His thoughts. That he thinks. And his plan that he thinks for us. Right. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. COVID ain't thinking for me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Finances ain't thinking for me. No. Hallelujah. I'm trusting God. I'm trusting God. I'm trusting his plan. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And you know, it's another thing that he even showed us uh, even how to pray right. about his
this plan. And then I went and heard this prayer, and I said, you know, I never saw it this way before now. I really did. I said, but God, you know how God hates you. He will give you a revelation. He will. He will give you a revelation. And we're going to go to Luke, the 11th chapter. All right. Dr. Luke, the 11th chapter. Luke 11 and the second verse. A very familiar scripture. And he said unto them, mm -hmm. when ye pray, say, yeah. our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, uh -huh. thy kingdom come, mm -hmm. thy will be done, mm -hmm. as in heaven, so in earth. Uh -huh. To sum that up, I acknowledge you, Father, as my Lord, I acknowledge you as my covering. Yeah, I yeah. acknowledge you as my shepherd. That's it. Hallelujah. And thy will be done in earth mm -hmm. as it is in heaven. Like heaven. All you're saying right there, I trust your plan. Mm. I trust your plan because your will be done. When, it, when, when, you, when you tell God your will is going to be done in earth as it is in heaven, mm -hmm. what you want God from here to here on earth, from heaven to earth, hurt to heaven, that's trusting God's Trust plan. Simple as that. He, I mean, I don't know if that's how the disciples saw it, but that's how God just showed it to me. Yeah. When you're saying, I accept your will, mm -hmm. your will be done. Who is in the earth? We are in the earth. We are in the earth. God didn't just say we are in the earth. He said we are the salt of the earth. Oh, no. Hallelujah. Right. We are the salt and so what, but what somebody else may have think somebody else one way. It's not going to affect his people. Hallelujah. Not the believers. Not the believers. The believers are here to tell the gospel to get the good news out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, the believers are still going to give them a praise. Hallelujah. The believers are going to say what does say the Lord. Hallelujah. Because we are trusting him every step of the way. Every step of the way. We are trusting God's way. Trust his plan. It's worth it, y'all. It is so worth it. I can't tell you enough how good it is. It's worth to trust him and to believe on him, depend on him. Yeah. That's what he wants you to do. He said, all oh, you that labor are heavy laden. Come on now. Come on. He said, even if you are weary, if you are weary, come on. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. I will give you rest. And, I, and, and we, he ain't talking about just, just I'm going to give you rest laying across this pool of his rest. Not that guy. No, he's talking about that peace that passes all understanding oh, rest. Right. Hallelujah. Stop worrying about, oh, if I go here there, am I going to feel this way or that way? Oh, can, can I go to a church now? Is it okay to do? Can I step out of the house? Or can I, all the worry and the stress, he didn't create it, y'all. Right. He did not create it for us. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
And the last verse we're going to go to is Psalms, the 37th chapter. Mm -hmm. All right. While we trust in God, this is what God wants yeah. us to do. Mm -hmm. While we trust in Him. Psalms, the 37th chapter. All right. The third verse, starting with the third verse. Trust in the Lord. And here it is again. Trust Definitely. in the Lord. And do good. And do good. Thank you, Jesus. So shalt thou dwell in the land. Yes. And verily thou shalt be faithful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. David said, I once was young mm -hmm. and now I'm old. Right. And never seen the righteous forsaken. No. no. Nor his seed begging bread. Come on now. Uh -huh. God is going to take care of his people. He will take care of his people. Yeah, yeah. But he started that from the beginning of that. He said what? Trust, trust. in the Lord. That's it. You know, we sing that song, I will trust in the Lord until I die. Mm -hmm. Come on. I will trust in the Lord until I die. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But when you're facing that situation, are you still going to trust him? That's all God is saying. Are you still going to trust me? Hallelujah. I know circumstances are real. Trust me, I do. I know when, when you don't know where your next meal coming from or, or where you're going to lay your head. Dead, 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 almost shot. All right, you know. I know how it feels. I know it. But are you going to still trust me? Are you going to put my, your trust in me? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Delight thyself also. Oh, do that too. In the Lord. You can't just, you know, you can't, as they say, you can't, you can't um, have step. Don't have step. God, he's, he, even though he said trust him, he's giving you also instructions. Mm -hmm. Be happy about it. Delight yourself. Come on. Mm. Get, you be, get excited about it. Delight yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, God don't want you to come to church, as my pastor used to say, like you sucking oats through a two-inch pipe. He don't want, you know, I mean, I mean and like David said, enter to his gates with thanksgiving right. and into his courts with praise. praise. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So God is saying, I don't care what you're going through. You still delight. Still keep that praise on your lips. Praise on your lips. Hallelujah. Yeah. If it tore down the walls of Jericho, come on now. Praise is a weapon. You, you don't think praise is a weapon. Start praising God. Just give him thanks. Just glorify him. Just Oh, yeah. 
your ways, acknowledge him. Right. On, you gotta commit it. When you say commit it, he's not saying give it to me today and take it back tomorrow. Take it back to Holler it over the most time. That's not gonna work. You can't give it to him one day and take it back the next. Right. Commit it, leave it there. Commit it. Keep it in his hands. Hold on to him. That's Take fast hold of them instructions. Right. Let her not go, but keep her. Keep his word. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep, his keep his word. Thank you, Jesus. You got to stay committed. Don't look at your stuff. Don't look at what's going on in the world. Yes, we are in the last days, but you still got to keep your mind, your heart, your soul, everything committed to God. Committed. Commit your family. Commit your loved ones, your children. Commit it all to God. Hallelujah. And expect God to keep them. Expect God to keep them. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust. Here we go again. He repeated. God knows what he said and he knows why he said it. He said again. Trust also in him. And he shall bring it to pass. I want he do it. Yeah. Won't he do it? Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. He'll do it. He'll do it. Hallelujah. Yeah. You know, sometimes it may not happen microwave, but I you keep you stay committed stay to committed. God. You stay committed. Right. You stand on his word. Stay See, faith, he told me. Faith is is his it is your expectation uh -huh. of God. That's, That's your expectation. Right. What you expect God to yeah. do. Hallelujah. Are you expecting a little bit? Because see, my faith don't stop right here. It ain't, it ain't stopping at a mustard seed. It ain't mustard seed. It may start with a mustard seed, but it's not stopping with a mustard seed. But he said he'll still move with that mustard seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes it takes baby steps, but he, he wants you from glow, from glory, as he said in his word, from glory to glory. Right. He don't want you to stay in the same place that you in. Look back 10 years ago, you still, your face still in the same place. See, that's why God brings our situations in our lives and tribulations in our lives, because he knows what it's going to take for your faith to grow, what it's going to take to make you and mold you uh -huh. to what he wants you to be, to his plan, not to your plan. See, when you look at your situation, say, Lord, I don't understand why I'm going this. You may not understand, but see, there's a song that says, you don't need to understand. You just need to hold this hand. You don't even have to ask the reason why. Hallelujah, because I know he'll make a way yeah. through the nights and through the days. You don't need to understand. Just hold his hand. Just hold his hand. There's a song they sing. Hold on. Hold on. Something keeps a telling me to hold.
not say. You got a chance tonight to be saved. You got a chance. If you preach tonight, trust God. Trust Put God. your trust in God. Mm. Amen. Normally, 
I do a communion on first Sunday, but it, but it slipped me. I, I didn't get get to have to get my my product. Amen. We're gonna make up for this. Amen. Uh, we do communion on first Sunday. Amen. We did it did, did, did this morning service. Amen. But I know I'm like to do it on on airways. So let's just see us do it. But we're gonna be prepared. Amen. So we can do it. Amen. The drinking of blood, eat the body. Amen. He told me. And I also wash the feet. Now, now, now this New Year's, we plan to do do some things. Amen. This, 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 this New Year. And uh, I got uh, one of our bishops out of, uh, out of Tennessee. Amen. We plan to get together. Amen. What's wrong with him? He, he on me. He wants want some milk. Amen. Thank God for that, that, that little baby. <laughs> amen. But we plan this this uh, New Year. Amen. This month we talked yesterday. I believe we we're going to have communion and foot wash. Amen. We normally try to do it New Year. Oh, you out New Year in. Amen. So we that's what we plan to do. Amen. We like to keep the keep the battle going. Amen. They, they did it. I was trained that way, taught that way, and we want to do it like we was taught. Amen. Like I said to you, Pastor. Amen. Go on, do communion, and do foot washing. And often. Amen. And often you do. He said you do it in remembrance of me. Amen. So if you ain't planning to get, if you're not on your docket to do it, get, get put it on your book. Amen. Wash feet and do communion. I mean, that's all a part of it. You don't believe it? Read, 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 keep reading the book. It's in there. Amen. And I want to be a part of God. I do. Amen. 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 Shout out to Bishop Mike Square and the Good Samaritan Church. Amen. Apostle White, we thank God for you. Amen. I'm looking at you today. Amen. A lot of you, I, I don't call your name, but thank God for you. Amen. We, we didn't want you to know. Just keep looking and keep listening and keep, keep sharing. Amen. We're going to put it out there. Amen. All right. And we thank God for you. Amen. Thank God for Sister Rory. Did she do a good job for that? Yes, ma'am. Amen. We appreciate it. I'm trying to get that baby girl to sing. <laughs> Amen. It's like pulling teeth, I guess. I'm gonna get the right product so she say she got a good voice and she can sing. Amen. We're gonna keep on since so she coming out with it. Amen. I like to send the service out. Amen. The whole is the different temple. Amen. I'm so sorry that we missed the appreciation. We're still gonna do something though. Amen. We missed it. I saw it on Facebook. And God knows I would have loved to have a part of that. Amen. So we're gonna we are going we gonna keep it look. Let me let me say this while I'm there. We in the family now. Amen. Amen. I Amen. I, I, I in the family now. Amen. My, my baby brother married a uh, uh, pastor we have daughter. So that's the pastor of the church. Amen. So I I in the family, I feel real close. Amen. So we're gonna do something. Amen. We didn't have it. Thank God for you. Amen. And look, don't forget. Amen. Wednesday, 730. Amen. India the voice be on. Amen. Putting the word out. Amen. Reading the Bible. Amen. It's free gospel and every cell. And Friday night, your shoe will be back. Amen. We'll see a lot of Jay on Friday night. Amen. So we just looking. Looking forward to, uh, I don't know why you might act crazy, but uh, we're looking forward to uh, to the services. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. The name of the church is Holiness Deliverance Tabernacle. Holy Deliverance Tabernacle. All right. That's good. Help me out. Amen. They know what I'm talking about, Pastor Weed. Amen. Amen. ADT. That's right. Right. Lost you, my sister, in love. Amen. So we thank God for you. 
Amen. I'm looking for y'all to come out too, says Jack, one of these Sunday nights. I'm talking to you and Gary too. <laughs> oh, but, amen. I'm looking at you straight. Amen. Come out here. Amen. And, and, and uh, help us out. Amen. We in this thing together. Amen. All right. We love you. Uh, yeah. Now, uh, you too, says John. Uh, you can preach too. Uh, I'm, I'm watching you too. Amen. All right. Amen. We thank God for you. We don't, we don't let you go. Amen. We just thank God. Come on, brother. See you next week.